Hey, how you doing? Thought I'd show you my uh, studio. Uh, this is my, uh, that's my main computer in the middle. That's where I do all my editing. And then on the right side, I have my YouTube channels. Play music, look at pretty girls, you know. <clears throat> and then uh, on the left, I got my old little Mac there. It's a small oldie but goodie. Still works too. My favorite, actually that's my favorite keyboard for typing. And then I got my painting in the back there from uh, California Coast that I did a painting a long time ago. Well, not that long ago, but long enough. And then uh, I got my antique lamp there I just bought for 20 bucks. I thought that was a pretty good deal really. Anyways, and then got Sammy in that casket up on top of my computer. Uh, he's in ashes, but uh, he's, he comes with me, you know. And uh, yeah, so there you have it, uh, my little studio. And uh, I'm going to put a skylight right above where that computer in the middle is, thinking that would really be cool so I can overlook the uh, bay in the uh, Anacortes. But we'll see. We'll see. But everything is finished in here, and I'm pretty happy with it. I utilize the space as best as I possibly could. Enjoy. Hello folks, how you guys doing? Uh, I thought I'd show you my uh, project here that I worked on. Um, I got this countertop right here from the floor down here. And uh, it's a, you know, some of that Pergo stuff, that cheap composite board. But you know, it works good for the countertop. It'll be really nice and I just gotta put a nice finish trim on here and it'll be good as gold. So you know, it, it works pretty good for a countertop. It's not the best, but it's not the worst. It's, it's, it's good, it's good. And so uh, let's see what else we got here. Uh, well, uh, what I had to do is I had to add, add lighting in here, and so I put in uh, a nice easy switch here to uh, turn my uh, to turn my lights on and off, uh, my tra track lighting on and off. I'll show you that quick. Beautiful, huh? Look at that. That's awesome. So, anyways, I'm very happy with that. But it was a bear to get the uh, the wire up in here. I had to take the wire from here. Run it all the way up this ceiling here and uh, take it all the way over to the track lighting there. And it wasn't easy. I had to take a pipe and uh, run it in here because I couldn't get the I couldn't get the fish tape up through here and, and up, up in there. So I ended up taking a pipe and putting the fish tape inside the pipe. And it worked like a charm, folks. <laughs> I was so happy. It took me a day and a half to figure that out, but I got it. And then I also got you know receptacles here and over here as well. So um, it's uh, very, very nice. Very happy with that and very easy and convenient to get all my things charged right next to my place. And uh, it's great, it's just really awesome. <clears throat> so um, one thing I wanna to talk to you about is about lighting. And uh, lighting is uh, something, you, you know, it's something I think I'm really good at. And I just wanna show you a little bit about this track lighting right here is that this picture right here is so high that I was gonna put a can flush right here but when you turn it to make a 30 degrees it won't be enough it just won't hit it very well so I ended up what I'm doing what I ended up doing is just putting in track lighting up here so the track light itself is lower and it can aim it you have more flexibility in getting your target which I have seen right here what do you see right here so anyways just something that I wanted to share with you I think it's a you know uh, that's something you need to know down the road and we can get to that point. If you had the picture uh, down here more, then it wouldn't be a problem. But yeah, you could probably could move it. See, I, I don't have any room because the fan here is in a way. I can't move the light farther away. It still wouldn't work anyways, bottom line. So anyways, just thought I'd show you that. And uh, yeah, it's all turned out great. I'm very happy. Um, these lights really protrude beautifully. I got this for 50 bucks at um, Lowe's, it was on sale, a cheap old beeple. So I'm um, very happy with that and uh, um, it all turned out great and I love my world maps, let me tell you. <laughs> but anyways, uh, we'll get back to you a little bit sooner. Bye. I thought I'd show you my world maps that I made on the wall here. Uh, these are uh, posters that I 
that we printed at uh, Vision Graphics, and I took a few of them at, uh, from work. And they're uh, National Geographic world maps, uh, and uh, we got one of Africa there and of uh, Asia. Um, these maps, um, I was gonna use them as a wallpaper in the wall, but I thought, man, what if I want to move them? You know, or I didn't have it in the right place, and it's hard to get off again. I'll never get to use them again. So this way, I thought I can take them with me wherever I go. And so, um, you know, I made a scrolly look, like an old sailor look, you know, like you would roll it up in a, a tube and, you know, take it with you or tie it up. But anyways, I got these little uh, mahogany pieces of wood that are at both ends of the uh, poster. And that really, really dresses it up nicely. And then I got this uh, binder twine kind of, as you can see there, that is tied up into a triangular look. It's really cool. And it's got little buttons at the end. It just really got a nice old world classic look. Anyways, I thought I'd show you this and you can enjoy. Anyways, that's it. The beautiful mats. Yes. Enjoy, folks.